Hey guys, what's up? This is Mama Cece checking in. How are you? Well, today's video will be about my postpartum experience after having CJ. There's a few things that you go through that I didn't really know about until I actually had a baby. So I want to share that with you guys. What I also want to suggest is that if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Hit the little bell next to it for notifications every time I post a video, which is once a week. So let's go ahead and get started. I love you, baby CJ. So after the baby, something that I experienced was hair loss. Now it wasn't all around my head, it was basically around my edges. And I knew it wasn't an issue from me going to get my hair braided because I didn't really wear um, a lot of braids during my pregnancy. And so I was kind of freaking out about that until I talked with other moms and other people in my mom groups that I follow and I noticed that it's quite common to lose your hair. So it's growing back now, um, it still has a ways to go, but what I used for that, which was recommended to me by my hairstylist um, to help with um, growing my hair is this Dr. Miracles Temple and Nape Balm. It's kind of faded because I've been using it for a while now also important to keep your hair moisturized don't freak out if you're losing hair after you have a baby it's quite natural your hormones will definitely start to balance their cells out after a couple months so weight loss for me wasn't really hard I am tall I'm 6'2 so I've always been slim I worked out before I was pregnant while I was pregnant and I'm just now getting back into going to the gym. So I went from being 150 to 195. And then after I had CJ, I dropped down to, um, I believe it was 170. And right now I'm not really sure how much I weigh because I haven't weighed myself in a while. But it may be along the lines of 160, 165 or something like that. So... I know a lot of women do struggle with weight loss and you know snapping back but I would definitely say don't focus on that just focus on being a healthy version of yourself not only for you but for your baby because you know your baby is the most important thing that you have going on in your life right now so don't worry too much about weight loss it will come off over time I know that actually breastfeeding helps with um, weight loss if you're trying to lose weight rapidly or whatever after having a baby. It helps contract the uterus and um, flatten the tummy. So right now my tummy, I, I'm 8 months postpartum so this is the way my tummy looks. It's still a little bit flabby I guess to myself. Some people say that I don't have an issue, but I'm okay. As I said before, I've always been, I've always been like skinny, so <laughs> I didn't really have too much of a weight issue. But um, another thing that I was really affected by was acne. I did not know that you get acne after having a baby so I was freaking out actually mine has started like when I was pregnant with CJ I didn't know what it was because I'm always pretty good about washing my face or whatever and so I ended up just going to um, get facials hoping that they could help me clear it up and then again after talking with you know other moms and people in my mommy groups I found that acne is quite normal. I think that was one thing that I was really self-conscious about when I had CJ. With it being hormones, it's not going to go away just because you're washing your face constantly. Although that's a good routine that you want to have. You just have to wait till your hormones just relax and go back to normal. And for me, my acne really started to clear up 
around the time CJ was about six months so it takes time but I did pick up some products one of them that I use I got from the place where I was getting facials and it's this green tea citrus antioxidant cleanser it works really good kind of pricey but I thought it was worth it I don't have a moisturizer that I use I just kind of use lotion which is really not good but I don't have anything I'm using right now but one thing that takes some time to clear up is the uh, the pigmentation that you get because I would like pop all the zits on my face and it will leave scars which is um, you know hyperpigmentation the dark scars on your face so that took a while to go away I think they're pretty much almost gone right now but um, I use witch hazel which is good for clearing that up definitely good for oily irritated red damaged blemished or inflamed skin and it's supposed to you know clear your skin of all the excess uh, grease or dirt um, after you wash your face with a facial cleanser so you use this afterwards to get any extra stuff that may be on your face and it's been working well for me so first the cleanser then the witch hazel and then um, a moisturizer for your face now I'm no expert but this is what I found to work good for me after I had CJ I honestly did not know that you bleed for up to about six weeks after you give birth and um, I didn't know this until the doctors told me in the hospital uh, which I guess it makes sense I mean you just got done giving birth to a baby I don't know if it's the same for people that have c-sections probably not I don't, I don't know honestly but I bled for about I think it was about three weeks and then it went away and they say that if you breastfeed that your um, menstrual cycle doesn't come back for about six months or something wild like that mine came back probably after a month or two it didn't take long and mine are regular they were like they um, they came on time or they come on time like they did before I was pregnant there's no difference a lot of women have different experiences. Um, it may not be the same before you were pregnant. Mine is the same. They come on time every once a month, you know. It doesn't skip a heartbeat. So I didn't have any problems with that. I didn't have any postpartum depression. I just had postpartum hatred for my husband. Because <laughs> he was getting on my nerves. Um, I probably shouldn't say hate because that's a strong word. but. It was definitely difficult trying to do things and, and, and you know, really just learn how to be a mom. Um, I just want to definitely say that you're going to make mistakes. You know, you may not do things right. Um, and I don't think you should be made to feel bad about that or anything like that. Just talk with other moms who have had babies. Um, I really like my mommy groups that I'm in on Facebook. They have a lot of groups that are geared towards women in my area and then they have general mommy groups where everybody's on there from anywhere. And those women have been very helpful um, with answering questions for me. Actually after I had CJ I had um, a one-on-one -on -one mentor that my hospital set me up with which I think was great. So I was able to talk to her via email or phone or whatever and ask her for some tips about what to do after having a baby and I did that for three months and then after three months they put you into a parenting group with other first-time moms in that last six months and actually today is um, the last parenting group for us so I'm gonna go to that and um, those ladies have been very helpful because the babies are about one or two months um, different and age so there's some mothers there that had babies that were a little bit older than CJ so I was able to ask them for advice and then you have the the mother that's running the group she obviously has had a kid before and um, my group actually has a young woman and then her mom they both run it together which so definitely look into parenting groups 
Those are great. Um, try to find some mommy friends if you can. I don't really have any mommy friends. I've just kind of learned to reach out to my online community, online community and look on websites. Um, I get a ton of different emails from a bunch of different resources out there regarding the age of the baby and the appropriate things, or not the appropriate things, but the milestones that the baby should be making at a certain age. So I get those weekly. So I get like, now I get one for CJ when he's eight months and one week, eight months and two weeks, and eight months and three weeks. So um, as I was saying before about postpartum depression, I didn't have postpartum depression. Um, I know a lot of mommies out there do have it. I definitely recommend you to seek out help if you have it. It's not something that is the end all be all. Um, you definitely can get help from it. There's plenty of mothers who have been through it before. And I just want to say to you that if they can get through it, so can you. Just find some time to relax if you can and take a break. Because having a baby can be very stressful and it's a lot of work. I just I don't understand how people have babies back to back. Like, oh my gosh, like, you know, the Irish twins? You know, an Irish twin is a baby that is born within one year of you having another baby. I think I want to take the time to focus on and love on CJ while he is, you know, still a baby. So with that being said, I'll try to post some links down below of places you can contact if you're having postpartum uh, depression, but you're going to get through it, mom. You're going to be okay. You can write me. Maybe I can try to help you out. I'm no, I'm no professional, but I believe on focusing on the positive side of life. I'm so pro-life and being happy and uh, just seeing the light at the end of the tunnel because things do get better. One thing that I do want to talk about as well is when I, when before I had a baby, I always heard the term, um, and you might want to censor this for your kids, <laughs> but one thing that I always heard was loose coochie. And I always wonder, you know, does that happen after you have a baby? Is it going to be loose? Is, you know, sex not going to be as great? But after I had CJ, um, I went right back to normal. It's no problem, you know? One comment that I've seen on a, uh, a post I was following, a lady had mentioned, which I probably should have known this, but... The vagina is a muscle, so it's going to stretch and contract again. And a lot of people um, mention um, Kegels. I don't know if I'm saying it right. K-E-G-E-L-S. Kegels. Kegel exercises. And basically that's what you do when you're using the restroom, when you're peeing, and you need to stop the flow of pee so you contract those muscles and you stop peeing. So that's the muscles that you're working out. So you just release them and you tighten them back up. You release them and tighten them back up. And that helps with um, postpartum consonants. I need to really work on my vocabulary. But I noticed that after I had CJ, if I had a full bladder, and I laugh really hard or I sneeze or cough, you can release, you know, some urine. So you'll definitely need to wear a panty liner after um, giving birth and work on those Kegel exercises because that definitely does happen. But there is no such thing as a loose coochie, according to my husband and myself. <laughs> So, um, I just wanted to bring that up for you guys. Other than that, I am doing good post baby. I feel like my normal self at eight months. CJ is growing. He's he's crawling. Well, he's not exactly crawling right now. He's scooting, but I'm trying to get him to crawl and hopefully walk soon. But you know, I don't want to rush it. But I'm just so excited to see when that happens. 
and that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm doing YouTube so I can capture everything and share it with you guys especially other first-time moms or mothers who are about to have their babies and want to take and learn from my experience and apply it to their own with that being said you guys I'm gonna get going because it's another nice and beautiful 90 degree day outside at the end of September which is very unusual so this is Mama Cece checking out. See you later. See you soon. Bye. Say hi. Say hi.